three, two, one. Look, that, now if that's not a transformation, then I don't know what is. Hey, what's the story, right? If you have clicked this video as a result of the algorithm absolutely doing a mad one, and you don't care about who I am, you don't want to know the value I add to society, then the reason why you probably clicked on this video, right, it's probably most relevant around this timestamp. But for all the legends out there, all right, how are you getting on? Slightly different level of production value going on this week because I'm holding the camera myself instead of having you propped up on top of about 17 shoe boxes on the corner of my bed. I also haven't got Adam behind the camera recording me because he'll be making slightly more of a presence in front of the camera today. So you'll be excited to see that. So that's right. This week's video is going to be a horrendously vloggy state of affairs. In light of that, right, I'm going to do some vloggy type things. It's Sunday. It's a magnificently grey, overcast and depressing day. There has literally not been a single decent day in Ireland since I came back from holidays. How fantastic is that? If you follow me on Instagram, you'd be quite aware of how sickened in me hole I have been since returning to this kip. I heard this quote one time, <clears throat> successful people achieve things either... What is wrong with my voice, man? <clears throat> successful people either achieve things out of inspiration or out of desperation. And even for me, doing this YouTube-y stuff, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't out of an act of desperation, right? To shoot for one of those wild opportunities so that I could be financially free and I could fuck off out of this country, man. Sick of the people, sick of the weather, Sick of every business opening up, be in a coffee shop or an ice cream shop. Just, just the overall climate of the country. Never mind, like no, I'm not even talking about weather-wise. I'm just, I'm talking about on a human level. It's just not a vibe. Don't fuck with it. I said on Instagram that I'd rather be struggling to communicate with Spaniards than to be talking to Irish people being Irish. So yeah, I've caught a bit of a traveling bug and we're hopeful to get away somewhere again soon, hopefully in October on a bit of a Portugal or a Greece sort of vibe. Me and Neve need to sit down and brief each other on our expectations from the outcome of our next foreign destination. So, yeah. Not the lightest tone to start off a vlog, so uh, I cut to me getting a bit of brekkie, <laughs> yay! And then going to the gym. Maybe turn down the masked singer. Bit, 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 of an abstract breakfast going on. Nice. Got some eggs, rashers, and some pancakes. Ideally, I'd like to eat in a surplus of calories, but the actual idea of forcing high calorie things into each of my foods. It just, it sounds too strenuous, so I'm still just going to continue eating how I'm eating. But if I have the opportunity to eat something more at one particular time, I'll probably do it and then convince myself that I'm gaining muscle. Look who it is. Have you been practicing that script I gave you? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I got the lemon juice for my tears later. Here's, here's, to, a, here's, here's to a million views, bro. Yeah. Nothing better than clickbaiting a lot of Americans, man. Believe it or not, we're not gonna go to Marbella and, and lay game on a load of birds, yeah? We're actually gonna go to the gym and do a push session, you get me? We've made it to an undisclosed location, but as the name suggests, it's integral. Haha, <laughs> I'm only joking, we're at the gym. Look at this cunt, yeah? There's many different ways I do about killing this dickhead wasp right now, yeah? But I'm gonna go for a little. I'm gonna go for a little bit of uh... Smooth. I'm gonna find him inside me. Oh, there he is! Oh, he's gone. He's gone. It's this cunty wasp season, man. Around August, September, it's like mating time. So all they wanna do is sting the fuck out of humans. I don't get it. So we're on the second rotation on the current program that I've developed for me and Adam to both follow. So me and Adam are doing the same push workout today. We're gonna start off with some flat dumbbell sets. Uh, we're gonna throw in some shoulder work, rear delt work, we're gonna throw in a couple of supersets. We'll take us along with the wheels. Oh. 
Uh, ben loves supersets nowadays. Doing the shoulder press today and then supersetting it with the rear delt flows. So the time has come for a physique reveal after what? Roughly like 30 days of being in the gym nearly. So, are you prepared? Right, well, we'll get ourselves under the lighting. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. So Adam's on this side, yeah? And uh, I'll put his before picture beside him so you can see the ultimate transformation in the last 30 days. Insane. Uh, yeah, I'm just in this sort of shape nine times out of ten throughout the year. So if, if we could stop playing around and eat four to five thousand calories a day for an extended period of time, Lord knows what sort of size we could get to. How much do you think I should charge for a new dry line and box? Thinking of negotiating some sort of offer where they give me a couple of months payment free in the gym. You've heard of the Jersey Juice Gang and now we have ourselves the Draw of the Juice Gang coming in. So do you want to just <coughs> reveal your steroid stock off the bat? That's a joke, all right? It's time to get serious and to refresh our memories. Here is the before picture. And here's the after picture of Adam's transformation. Are you impressed with how far you've come over the last 30 days? Did you expect this? I didn't expect it, no, especially only after one month. Yeah, uh, I, I I, didn't focus on, you know, losing any weight. I want to gain because every time I, you know, exercised or went to the gym before, it was always trying to lose a bit of fat, lose a bit of weight. Yeah. But this time was different. And how does it make you feel now? <clears throat> like, I, I can just tell from you walking around or something. You're just walking around with a bit more of an air confidence about you, man. It's a bit of a glow going on. Yeah, yeah. I definitely uh, underestimated the power of having a bit of muscle on you. I wanted to dig deep into any preconceptions that you might have been on and off with in your head about the gym before even starting. Because for years, all you've been training and, mm. you know, we're pretty close you now, we're pretty close friends. Clearly, you would have had some sort of notion about maybe joining the gym. Yeah, well, there is that intimidation factor there. But um, I've been to, you know, Boyneside, that gym. That's a very intimidating gym to go into because it's full yeah, of powerlifters and all that. I, I can vouch for that. Not even yeah. a single mirror in the place. Huh? Yeah. Just people looking into your eyes, that's it. Yeah. screaming. So I don't really think that intimidation kind of factor would be there as hard as it would be when I was first going. Kind of a part of it at the start, but again, you know, you're doing your exercises. Even when I was with you doing the exercises, you kind of feel like, oh God, I have no idea what I'm doing. What is this guy doing here? Yeah. Once you, like, after like two weeks, that goes away and you're just like, I'm part of it. How would you say your relationship is with the gym now? Do you feel like you can't stop at this stage? I've been as consistent as I've ever been with the gym now and I feel like if I stop then I don't know life's a bit shit whatever you know I have to I have to say like your form like I've always uh went on like this about how you are in the gym and your form is just impeccable like we we go to the gym and like since way before Adam started there's been like skinny lads in the gym and you know clearly they've done more, they've put more of the hours in at the gym, but the form is just atrocious, all right? And then this uh, this fella just steps in, all right? Under my guidance, right, admittedly, but even still, the attention that he pays to the form, he, he doesn't lift egotistically, all right? I think that is a uh, vital, it's a vital thing, right? You can't be lifting with your ego and, Purposefully, I've avoided doing any 
compound lifts like bench and squatting and deadlifting because those are the movements where you know the amount of plates on each side of the bar matters more it's more so just been high volume work we have well there has been some benching and then there's been romanian deadlifts and like front squats variations on the compounds like but assisted deadlifts and assisted deadlifts as well like so going like fully yeah deadlifting like variations of the compounds so the idea of lifting with your ego it isn't there and when you're on the machines you know when something's too heavy like when you're doing some sort of isolation movement and it, it's not ideal when you're pushing it and then you know you can't get the proper form so basically what i'm trying to say is like the foundation the foundations adam has now like his strength has grown massively in this period of time because going to the gym alone i heard someone say this like literally yesterday but i can't remember who it was like going to the gym alone is progressive it was joe delaney going to the gym alone it was it's progressive overload the fact that you're doing the, the actual movements it's uh it's new for your muscles so i was quite aware of that with adam coming in so a lot of movements were done with like minimal weight maybe a, a barbell ohp it's it was strictly only the bar and plus mm -hmm. the bar is like 20 kilo it's heavy enough but the actual fact that you're doing the movement and you are using your mind muscle connection to make sure that the form is impeccable that is progressive overload and that is um an aspect of both of our training that i've been absolutely focused on typically with a beginner you you wouldn't want to throw them into the deep end in terms of intensity but you know just in terms of how adam responded to that level of training he was uh up for it i think he's a bit of an anomaly especially as a beginner with weight training maybe it's just because he's young as well like we're only 20. it's uh like your body is it's just like this indestructible machine yeah you're supposed to be at your peak at like around your 20s and then you start dipping in your 30s and 40s so it's it's probably the best time to start and you don't want to get injured at the start as well that's why we didn't go too heavy because then you know you're finished before you even start yeah you know if you hurt yourself or whatever and it it like after a week or two the results spoke for themselves the adam's back uh i'm not sure if i've got like a, a clear and distinct image of it but it's probably the part of his body that's responded the best to the training but i i, I kind of i say that with you know a slight pinch of salt because there's uh, surprises popping up everywhere every week when Adam comes to the gym. Like his chest t today, like, uh, like like his arms and his back and his shoulders have been noticeable. Uh, but when we were doing the physique update, you know, showing the final form of the 30 day transformation, you could clearly see that the chest was coming along as well. And that was one of the things that I was sort of putting him at ease uh, to about because I was like things like your chest and your abs will take a while to uh, develop and you know when you're walking around topless it's quite clear that you are someone that you know is heavily partaking in fitness for me like my chest and abs took the longest obviously when you're starting off I think the newbie gains you can really tell in your arms and back for the majority of people right people do develop at different rates though so yeah basically the point that nearly I was trying to get across making a video with Adam about, you know, a beginner in the gym and the gains that you have the potential to make if you're still, you know, a beginner and you haven't, maybe you haven't even joined the gym, you've only been considering it. I wanted to sort of paint a picture of like the ideal sort of shape that you can get into after 30 days. We're kind of just, we're kind of going off script here, like chatting about his overall transformation but i think in, i think we went into enough depth that yeah. people could be satisfied with that and people aren't going to be crucifying me in the comments being like this is supposed to be a transformation video and all he did was kill wasps the whole video so yeah on that note i'm going to end the video here uh if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave it a like and if you're new subscribe to the channel all right that's been it from us for today i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you later on